Well, Juliana Kanyomozi has finally spoken the truth about Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba being the father of her child, that is Baby Taj. Wait, I'm gonna tell you what she said. Well, in other news, President Museveni's son, that is Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba, has finally confirmed that he's coming for president in the general elections of 2026. Well, I'm also coming to you with the latest news about Mzee Nathan Okori, the late Jacob Olanya's father. Well, stand by for the details coming up right now on The Buzz UG. A very good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing to The Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly do subscribe and also do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, starting off with Bebe Cool, uh, recently Bebe Cool was recorded smoking shisha in one of the bars right here in Kampala and everyone was shocked because Bebe Cool is a Muslim and they are fasting right now. So definitely no one expected Bebe Cool to do such in this period of time. But Bebe Cool has finally spoken about this matter. He says Ugandans should learn to respect people's privacy. He says you don't just record someone anyhow without permission to do so. <laughs> Amateka te baga tegera. Ukwato muntu, mungu kutu, ukute privacy ye. So, nzensubiranti, okula kula na chitiri musente zo, kachiri ne mkutegera. Slowly, ngabo tukula kula na ngaba imbi, na ngabo tufuba na abantu wa feba koleji, bakula kula ne baige. Kubate bachima nyinti, bukwate la mungu kutu, bukute mkute mu private time ye. Secondly, permission, no gamba. Mugena Ato imirida maso gangi, bebe kuru, ungaye ntika shisha. Akava mungsizaba warabu wa baba singa nobu siramu. Ngane kusawe no jeye chisivo. Ule gulewa sivu lukuka. Babe era kushisha. Obuta manya waba na Uganda habamu. Nse always when vayong and open. Mbamba ya mbaku. Well, there you go. That is Big Size Bebe Cool from Gagamel. In other news, President Museveni's son, that is Muhozi Kainerugaba, has finally confirmed that come 2026, he'll be in the presidential race. Of course, this has been a rumor for a long time. You know, we have been hearing that President Museveni is preparing his son, Muhozi Kainerugaba, to be the next president of Uganda, but we hadn't confirmed it. However, finally, Muhozi Kainerugaba has confirmed it that come 2026, he'll be among the presidential candidates. He actually posted that picture on Twitter and that picture has been trending so big time. I'm sure you can see what's right there. I mean, what else do you want for you to confirm that Muhozi is coming for 2026 elections? I mean, everything is right there. Vote President Muhozi Kainerugaba 2026 to 2031. You can see it right there. But personally, I think this is going to be a very tough race because Bobby Wine will be in that race. Anyway, we shall vote for that person standing for the truth and on the side of the oppressed Ugandans. And I'm sure Ugandans know that person very well well in other news Uganda police has decided that they are not going to summon the late Jacob Olanya's father Muzei Nathan Okori as it had been decided earlier on 
Now, police says all the people that were mentioned, the likes of His Excellency Bobby Wine, uh, former Minister Chiwanda Subi, and others are not going to be summoned. Of course, you must be asking yourself, why have they changed their mind? Now, the spokesperson of Uganda Police, that is Fred Enanga, says they are going to first gather more information about this poison matter and then the summons will come in later. And I think this is something that we were all talking about. We said instead of police issuing summons to people, there should rather be in-depth investigation. And thank God police has finally listened to the biggest opinion in the public. Well, in other news, another NUP supporter by name Mr. Davis Kabuye from South Africa has died. This big man died yesterday and according to Fred Kajubi Lumbuye, he says Mr. Kabuye was poisoned by ESO agents. Now, Mr. Kabuye Davis was NUP coordinator in South Africa. Now, Fred Kajubi Lumbuye says NUP supporters in South Africa need to be very careful because President Museveni has deployed a lot of his men and these men, their motive is to poison NUP supporters. Now, it should be remembered that South Africa is one of the countries across the world that has many NUP supporters. However, I cannot confirm this poison claim from Fred Kajubi Lumbuye, but that's what is coming in from his camp. Well, may his soul rest in peace. Well, in other news, Juliana Kanyomozi has finally opened up about the rumor that has been circulating on social media platforms suggesting that Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba is the father of her son, that is Baby Taj. Now, we all remember after Juliana Kanyomozi giving birth in the United States of America, information surfaced on different social media platforms suggesting that Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba is the father of her son and that is one of the reasons why up to now she has never showed her baby's face to the fans. Now, finally, Juliana Kanyomozi addressed this issue and she said she has been with the father of Baby Taj for the last seven years. And those saying that Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba is the father, Juliana said, no, please. Take a chill pill, relax and have some water. Otherwise, what you think or what you have been told is not true. Well, she said she will reveal her baby's face at the right time, but the father of Baby Taj, we may never know him because he's a very private person. Well, there you go. That is Juliana Kanyomozi, the most loved female legendary artist in Uganda right now. And lastly, in other news, Jeno Mugisha Muntu, the president of Ant, has warned President Museveni that he's about to make a lifetime mistake of bringing his son Mohozi Kainerugawa as the next president of Uganda. Uh, Jeno Mugisha Muntu says, although Mohozi Kainerugaba has a right as a citizen of Uganda to run for any political office in Uganda, but he must first resign from the army before he makes his political ambitions public. But if you see what Mohozi Kainerugaba is doing right now, he has already showed it to the public that come 2026, he's going to be on the ballot paper. But unfortunately, Mohozi Kainerugaba is doing this before he resigns from the army, something that is against our constitution of Uganda. So Jeno Mugisha Muntu says President Museveni should be careful and advise his son very well before they make the worst mistake of all time. Yeah, so that is uh, Jeno Mugisha Muntu and uh, I should say those are some of the stories that I have for you right here on the Buzz UG and in case you have any opinion about them, please put your comment down there in the comment section and most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. You got the buzz, you got everything. Thank you.